Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a small amount of red on the one inch brush. And we'll come right about here and put in a nice pink glow in the sky. Now with a clean brush, we can blend this, make it get nice and soft. Now with some purple on the one inch brush, we can tap in some clouds. That purple was made just out of red and blue and I mixed them together. And we'll just tap down like this and shape some clouds. Maybe we'll have one that comes like this. Now with a clean brush, we can blend out these clouds using tiny circles and then kind of pull these stringy looking ones. Just pull those and then do tiny circles to the rest of them. And then we'll fluff them, kind of lift them up a little, and then go across. Now with some white on the fan brush, we can put on a little bit of highlight to this cloud, just by tapping. And maybe we'll have some like that. And a little hitting the bottom over here. Now back to the 2 inch brush, and we can blend this out using tiny circles, just like before. And we'll kind of just soften it like that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black to that cloud color, so now it's purple and black. And we can tap, on, tap in some nice little trees. I'm kind of focusing more attention here on the top. Kind of getting some nice little shapes. Now with some red and white, we can drop a little bit of highlight on these bushes just by tapping, kind of using the top corner of that brush mostly. And be sure to leave dark in your tree. You need all that dark for the contrast. Now, I'm going to grab a little bit of red on the 2 inch brush and just go like this. Now with the 1 inch brush and some white, we can grab the bottom of those trees and just pull them. Grab them and pull them out. Pick up a little bit of that dark color and move it around and it'll look like some shadows in your snow. Now with a little bit of blue on the 2 inch brush, we can come right here and pull down, create some water. And then go across. Now back to the 1 inch brush, and we can put a little bit of snow right in front of that. Now back to that brush that we were making the bushes with, and we can put a little bit of land right here. It sticks right out into the water. And put a couple of bushes on it too. We can put a little bit of highlight on these bushes just by pushing up with that brush. When your bushes are done, you can just turn the brush and reflect them into the water. Now with a clean dry brush, you can just grab that and pull it straight down, very lightly. Then turn the brush, go across, very, very lightly. When you're done with that, you can take a little bit of white on the knife and just drop in a little bit of snow right here at the bottom of the bushes. Now with some white on the knife, we can drop in a little water line. Just like that. Maybe a little over here too. Not a whole lot. Tiny little bit. Now with the knife and some brown, we can drop in a big tree right here. Let it come right down the painting. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can highlight this tree. Just touch and pull it around. A little bit on this one too. Now with the script liner, we can add 
some nice limbs up here. Just drop them right on. Maybe a few on this tree. Now, with the one inch brush, we'll grab some dark color and put a couple of bushes right around this tree. Kind of clean up the bottom, push them right back. Now we'll change back to the highlighting brush and drop a little bit of highlight on these bushes. Alright, now I think I'm going to take the contact paper off. Now it's pretty good right there, but if you want to, you can take this tree and extend them right out of the painting. It's kind of a different effect. Kind of cool. And do a couple of little branches. And maybe have this one extend. Just like that. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. And also friend me on Facebook. I'll put that below too. And thanks for watching.